Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. So I was able to screen the film and just what, what a good time. What, you know, like it, I, I love horror. I love horror cheerleaders. Like what, what could be better than that? How do you both feel about officially being part of the bring it on universe? <laughs> I don't know if it's settled in quite yet. I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, this was such a beautiful experience. And I think bring it on is iconic and I love horror. And so the fact that I got to do the horror and be a part of that in that franchise is pretty amazing to me. Yeah. But it's like one of those things is it's, it's like, it hasn't set in like quite yet, but I, I, I'm excited for when it does, you yeah. know? <laughs> probably when everybody gets to see it that'll <laughs> that's what it is is when people get to see it and then me being like oh okay that's what that's what okay okay yeah yeah <laughs> Until I, it, I was not terrified now I'm terrified thank you <laughs> <laughs> no but I think it's I think it's exciting because um it's a new twist on something that we've never seen before, bringing in that horror element. Um, how uh, I'm trying to think like how it's ex not exciting, but how important was that for you to make a new twist on something that everybody already knows and loves? I think, I think it was uh, making sure that we were really respecting the original franchise, knowing just basically how important it was to the fans and to make sure that what we were going to say next was taking it into like what's happening now. I wanted yeah. it to me. It want, I wanted to reflect how much respect I like. I'm not a cheerleader and I have no cheer background, but doing all the research into this, I became like a huge just yeah, I, I, I was blown away by what cheer actually is. And I wanted to make sure that this new film reflected what I saw in the cheer world. So I was mm -hmm. watching on YouTube. I was watching cheer on, on, um, on Netflix, seeing what, how diverse and how, like, basically what the cheer world that I, you know, I had stereotypes of, and this was not it. And I wanted to make yeah. sure that, that that was being incorporated. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, Carrie, I want to ask you, uh, how, how was it like preparing for your role? Do you have any cheer background experience? Are you, are you a peppy person? How in character did you have to get? Okay. First thing, um, I had no cheer experience. Upon this <laughs> um, I remember going and we had three weeks of like cheer camp. So we mm -hmm. would be there from 7am to 5pm and we would just work constantly on routines and stunts and skills and I have such an appreciation for cheerleaders now. <laughs> um, but I remember Tony Gonzalez who created all of our choreography. And I was like, I'm going to try my best. And he was like, no, no, no. At three weeks, you're going to, you're going to look legit for what we're doing. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Um, and then that was that. I think I, and then on the character, I think I brought a lot of myself in. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like you can kind of tell right now, just like the way that acting is very <laughs> like how Abby was in the beginning of the film of being like, hey guys, you know? Um, yeah, I think a lot of it was bringing the authenticness of who I am. Mm -hmm. I just loved her arc of just being kind of underestimated and then her team kind of turning to her and being like, okay, you're, you're the captain. Right. So, I love that. I love that. And Karen, I wanted to ask you, um, did you have any inspirations that you took from or other horror films in the genre to bring to Cheer or Die? You know, I, I, I work in horror, so that's usually what I, I tend to do. And so mm -hmm. if anything, I had to look for inspirations for basically more teen girl and sort of like that vibe was actually harder for me than actually yeah world because that's something that I live and breathe so it was finding um the right tone for this one because again mm -hmm. a lot of the other bring it ons that I could see had a broader comedy to it and I tend toward like the Heather's sort of darker comedy you know like that's my yeah that's my I am closer to that than I am to full-on com comedy so it was finding where I could do the like basically how much comedy versus and what kind of comedy because there's like kind of loud fun sitcom -y comedy 
And then there's sort of like dry, dark comedy, and that's closer to where, <laughs> where I actually am. So um, I think I was looking at movies like Heather's. I was looking at kind of old 80s style sort of um, the, the teen movies that I grew up with. But also um, I was looking at kind of newer ones. Like I was looking at Booksmart and how at the end of that movie, oh, everybody wasn't what I thought they were going to be. And I wanted to see if I could do something like that with these characters as well, that they weren't just a whole bunch of tropes. They actually had like, you know, other aspects to them that we could, while still being part of that thing, you know, like, yeah, you're a sexy blonde, but what kind of sexy blonde are you? You know, that was something that I wanted to play with. Right, absolutely. I got that too. I, I like how you mentioned that there was like, trying to find that balance of how much comedy we can put into it. Cause I personally love a good horror movie with some comedy. So I'm glad that that was in cheer or die. I mean, it's about cheerleaders. So we're here, we're here for the ride, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. And I also wanted to ask, I imagine you guys had so much fun on this set, making this movie. I like, do you have any fun stories that you can tell us from shooting this movie? I mean, the great thing is, having cheer for like three weeks, you really get to know everyone. And I think that really created the world of how close we were in yeah. the film. If you hear something going off, it's my cat's feeder. Just so you know. It's <laughs> no worries. It's not a monster. It's not anything horror related. <laughs> just my two cats. Um, <laughs> but I think what was funny is we were doing like night shoots. So it was like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., the end of the night. And all of a sudden we would make these jokes during the takes when it was supposed to be super serious. And we just, it could have been the most random thing. Like I kid you not, you probably heard it and you're like, yeah, not funny, but we were so like in the moment and after crying and screaming and being emotional, you're just like, Hey, and then it'd be like, Karen would be like, and action. We'd be like, <gasps> <laughs> like, Oh, we're supposed to be in a movie right now. Um, and it's, like, it was just, it was, we had a really good time. Yeah. It definitely <laughs> shows on the screen. <laughs> it's all real. It's all real. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it was, uh, it was so nice because everyone really liked each other. And I think for me, I have really surreal references to things all the time. So I remember telling Sam, who plays Quincy, about what he was doing, it, you know, basically for his death scene. And I was like, okay. So I made him watch Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights video. And I was like, okay. I the day. Yeah, that's my favorite video. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> dance and I said and mix that with a wind dancer so you're doing your thing and so it was like maybe people can't see it but that was sort of what was going through my head so I had weathering heights in my head during that scene so that's a, a lot of interior stuff that's going <laughs> very very cool I love it and if you guys could describe one word to describe bring it on cheer or die what is the one word you would pick oh or maybe a phrase maybe a phrase <laughs> oh no no <laughs> I like I like to say campy but like in the best way like a slasher that's like campy I don't know I like, like that though it's like yeah the slasher no no, no I love that oh. campy's great I think we went for um yeah I was like the bad news bears of cheer but with blood so that's <laughs> Yes. Yes. That's, a, yes. that's, so, good. that's so good. Cause that's exactly, that's, that's really good. Actually. <laughs> like that's kind of what I, that's the vibes I got when I was watching it. Honestly, I can't wait for everybody to see it. It's such a good time if you're a horror fan. And I mean, if you're a fan of cheerleaders, if you love teen girl movies, all of that, the fans will get so much out of it. So congratulations to the both of you. Can't wait for people to see it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.